Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm King Posh, your host for today's show. So here we are. We got the new car to collect. The 1992 Toyota Supra 2.0 GT Twin Turbo. So, um, and to do that race, when you guys get to it, um, I highly recommend um, the car that I'm in. Um, it's my tune. I have it out there. It's a 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Um, so if you need the tune, you actually will want um, this one right here, my Easy Rally Racer. Now, everything is on the road, but um, this thing is fast. It handles very well. Um, it just destroys them. So definitely pick up this car um, if you're looking for a car to do um, the main event to get the Toyota Supra. As you can tell, it has a top speed of 195 miles per hour. And it's it's pretty quick, so um, definitely do that. But here we are. We we got the we got this uh, Toyota Supra. So let's uh, let's have a look of it for the first time. I haven't seen it. I don't watch anybody um, playing um, these. I don't watch AR12. I don't watch you know Slap Train. I don't watch anybody that that brings up the uh, this car. So um, just to get that out. So it's it's a it's a fresh um, experience for me. So here we are, we got, um, it's a C-Class right off the bat, 206 horsepower with 203 foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs 3,300 pounds. So let's get that thing delivered to me, and let's do a review. Let's take it for a drive to the closest, well, the house is over there. Let's, uh, let's take it to this house, so at least we can drive it for a little bit. There's so much stuff over there. There we go. All right, let's have a nice little spin on this thing. Look at the interior. Looks pretty nice. Sounds pretty good too. Goes 180. But as you can tell, that's in kilometers an hour. Now this is, um, you know, when it comes to a Supra, um, everybody's thinking, oh, speed, speed, speed. Uh, this one, not so much. This is your classic, you know, entry level, whoa, entry level um, sports car from the 90s. Oh. At the roundabout, take the oh man, we got a roundabout here though. All right, let's see this thing. Can we drift it? Um. It has issues. So, out of the box, it's it's something. It handles pretty well, though. Um, yeah, I know it wasn't drifting um, very well, but I mean. It's not that bad of as, as a uh, entry level sports car in its day. And it's got some good speed. And then once you hit fifth gear that you know it slowly goes up even further. You just have to go down a, a hill. Oh, we're booking now though. Handles pretty good. In yards, a little squirrely at first there. But not too bad. Hard on the brakes. Right. In yards, I know they're not like, you know, top end brakes in this thing. 
turn right. All right, we're on the on the, the gravel here. It's not bad on the gravel. I mean, look at this. You have arrived at your destination. That is uh that was a nice little test drive. What do you guys think? All right, let's have a look at this uh, beautiful beast and can call it a beast. Yes, I know it looks like I'm really small here. I'm a midget. All right, bear with me. All right, the moment I get in here and I get out, I gain like, you know, three feet. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm tall. This is a magical vehicle. All right, can we look in the uh, engine compartment? Yes, we can. Let's have a look in there. It says Toyota, twin turbo, intercooler, 24 valve. It's a pretty uh, pretty sized engine in there. Um, there's no plastic in there, so you can actually work on your vehicle with ease, unlike today's cars. Um, it is, you know, the steering wheel is on the other side. It's, you know, a little weird, but, you know, us Americans, you know, it is weird. Sounds pretty good for that door. Alright, we can pop up the... Uh, Pop it in there. I don't think you can fit a set of golf clubs in there. You might be able to, but they have to be like, you know, miniature putting, you know, mini golf. But yeah, as you can tell, I have no license plate. Um, I, I took an, I've taken off the license plate. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, that's just for paint. Okay. Well, hey, let's go and actually see what kind of paints we even got on this thing. We'll see what our manufacturer... Um, paints are red. Beautiful blue. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, hello. What's your name? Oh, yeah. That's a nice silver. Pretty black. And that is white on white. Yes. And we see we have advanced. Okay. Okay, you see the line in the middle there? So that's that ants. So we can change the color in the middle. That's pretty sweet. At least that pops out there and it says, hey, I'm driving a twin turbo um, Toyota. Now for a twin turbo, it really doesn't really have that oomph. Um, I'd like to know how much power this thing had. Um, without a turbo uh, probably I uh, probably dropped it down there to like 90 horsepower or something like that let's see what kind of power we can get out of this thing out of the stock motor There's our twin turbo. Let's make that race. Oh, we're getting up there in power now. 481 horsepower. Almost 500 horsepower. 0 to 60 in 7.1, 11.8, and a top speed of 180. Now, we didn't look at what the stock was, so we actually have to back out of that. I didn't see that. That was my fault. That happened. Let's see what our 0 to 60s are with it. 8.2, 19.3 with a top speed of almost 150 miles an hour. Not bad. We're going to keep the original engine in there. I want to fully upgrade the, uh, the car up. Um, I want to know if there is a turbo flutter. Um, when it's fully upgraded. Uh, I didn't hear a turbo in there um, at the beginning and I'm pretty sure you guys didn't either. So, um, yeah. Let's just give this thing a, a full upgrade. What do we got? We got, we do have drift suspension. So we will put the drift suspension on there just because I know I will have this thing drift in um, by the end of the night. 
much did we just lose? 2,600 pounds. Oh yeah, a nice, a nice chunk. Okay, and then this will be a real wheel drive one because after this video, I will sit back and make all the tunes because that is all time consuming and I don't want you guys to be bored by sitting here for two hours figuring out what I'm doing. Tomorrow's video will be all of that. And I will get my basic stuff up for you guys. Wow. That is... That is insane. That is... That is just weird. But, hey, whatever. You guys like that. Alright, body kits. Mm-hmm. That is interesting. And a boom X. Hmm. I like this one. I like that one. I mean, see, I do like that, and a lot of people don't. Um, and I don't know why, but I like it. I like the big wing out there in the back. Uh, see, that that's just me right there, you know. It, it, everything's so complicated when people want, you know, different things. Like, hey, can you do these body kits? Well, that's why I do the videos in the first place, because I like strange things. And I really can't look at that yet. I kind of have to do this now and see what we got here. Ooh. Ooh, hello. That's interesting. It's got a little lip in the back there. Now, now I have to go through this and see what works with it. That pretty much works for that. So, that's what I'll go with. Uh, engines that we... What is that? Oh. There's a wide body kit to it. I don't really see much. Uh, for being a wide body kit. No, there really is no change. Oh, look at that. We can put a single turbo on there. Alright. And what kind of engines can we put in there? 3.0 liter inline 6, which is from the Supra. So we can definitely get 1,600 horsepower out of this thing. 2.6 liter and the turbo. <sighs> Guys. I just want to just put it in there right now. Well, first, like I said, like I said, let's listen to it first and let's see if there's a turbo noise. If there's no turbo noise, or is it, I'm, I don't even know. I mean, this is, this is different territory to me right now. Um, I, I mean, I should expect it that the, you know, 1600 horsepower engine should be in there. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to put the 1600 horsepower in my all-wheel drive and my rear-wheel drive. Um, that will be fun. Too bad it's dark. Ooh! There is the turbo flutter. It's right there at the end. It's like, it's right at like 3,000, 4,000 RPMs. You can hear it. Yeah, 3,500. It drifts. We'll take it to the main um, Horizon um, Festival. Go up there. 
And we'll put a 1600 horsepower engine in there. Because, it, I'm, I mean, honestly, we, we, I do kind of want to know. If I go here, low tune. Okay, I know I don't have any tunes up right now. Uh, we're going to go over to Horizon 3. Okay, I do have one up, but as you can tell, it has question marks on it. That means I can't use it. There's something that I put onto this car um, on Horizon 3 that does not compute to um, Horizon 4. And, and, and that's a shame. That is a shame that it comes down to that. That And I mean, that's, that. it just makes my, my job a lot harder. Uh, I can't just download a bass tune and, and go for there. Oh, it's a 500 horsepower? Not a bad car. We've already hit the top speed of when we were stuck. Brakes? It still sounds mean. Let's, before we end this video, let's just go, you know, balls to the wall. 3.0 liter twin turbo. Okay. But I mean, we're going to go with a single turbo because that's more power. Let's see what that does to the class at least. Now, frankly, we're on stock tires. So... Uh, I don't expect it to go higher than an A-Class. Look at that. We're still A-Class, guys. 736. With 1,600 horsepower. Alright. On real. 0 to 16, 6.9. Toss speed, almost 200 miles per hour. This thing, $51,000 just to put in that engine alone. That engine and the upgrades. You know, I would pay, six, I would pay 51000 for 1,600 horsepower any day. It's not a bad price. That's basically the price of a brand new 2021 Supra. There is some gearing that needs to be done. You have arrived at your destination. of a car uh, now you know if you guys would like a tune with the stock engine you want a rear wheel drive tune for the stock engine at least rear wheel drive not all wheel drive just rear wheel drive let me know um message me on xbox and i'll definitely take care of it uh that's not a problem as i could tell it would drift just fine with you know close to 500 horsepower and that's pretty much all you would need but i like to overkill on things i like to be that guy and i will so yeah so all right guys well hey I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see some more videos or something special, let me know in the comments below. And I'll try to do whatever I can do for you. Um, Alright guys, well hey, 
I will catch you later in the next video when I actually show my all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive tunes to you guys when I master them. Alright guys, peace out. I'm King Posh.